previous lecture, we saw how to create a repository on GitHub and then clone it using Git extensions. Now in this one, we'll be taking a look at how we can create a new file and then push it to our code repository on GitHub. So let's go ahead and create a new file, name it as init.txt and just write some text over here. Let's save this file. So now if I go back to my Git extension and here you'll see that there's one commit. So let's click on that. You'll see this is the newly created file in the .txt. What you need to do is you just need to stage it so that we can go ahead and push it. To do that, you just provide a message over here. Like over here, I'm saying checking in init.txt and then just go ahead and click commit and push in order to commit and push together. And there you have it. Just click on OK now. Provide your credentials over here. And click on login. This will basically push the changes and the file will be available on GitHub repository. So if I show you over here, you can see that in my repository, this file init.txt is available. So what we are basically doing is, first of all, we are staging changes when we say commit. So here, when we say commit, it brings up a window where you see all the files that you have worked on. And then you select those files, and then you select those files, and you stage them to start the commit process. Once you do that, this commit change that you have mentioned over here along with a comment is stored locally and now you need to push it that's why we have over here commit and push together so you just enter the message commit and then say push when you're saying push it basically takes this file and merges it with the online repository that we have created on github now the branch by default that you see is main so if i say push specifically you'll get this option like branch to push main to and then if you have more than one branches you can choose to which branch you want to push this change so that's what we are doing as of now we have created a file we have committed it and then we have pushed it to our remote repository and you can see it over here now now what we need to do is if you see main is coming up in red color so if i go ahead and pull things now by saying over here pull and says already up to date done so let's click on ok that means there are no more changes on the server so when we are pulling from the remote repository all the changes that are newly introduced and have been committed and pushed will be synced to our repository locally now in the next one we'll be exploring what if someone else make changes to the same file that we have pushed. We'll be able to see conflicting mergers and how to resolve it.